Hey guys, it's Sway back with another video, and today I am doing something different, something I've never done. I'm going to give you my opinion on the Lego sets of Star Wars coming this summer of 2020, this wave. Um, right there, you're actually looking at the Anakin Jedi Interceptor set number 75281, 248 pieces. It's going to run you about $29.99 US dollars. It's going to run you about... $39.99 if you're in Canada, and then the UK is going to be $29.99. Definitely, I don't have this set, and I recommend getting it if you don't have one. I'm just glad that we don't have those stud blasters on this one, like the Anakin Starfighter that we got the last wave, I believe it was. They're bringing back the spring-loaded missile launcher, so I'm excited. Um, but all these sets are supposed to be dropping on August 1st, as far as, you know, that's the date. If anything happens, LEGO tends to push it back. I will let y'all know, but as far as now, it's going to be August 1st. And out of 10, I recommend this set to be about 7.5. You know, R2-D2 and Anakin Skywalker and all their glory. Um, you really can't do it that much with them, I believe. He looks like the exact same minifigure that we got in the Anakin Starfighter last wave. But definitely a great set. I really recommend it. If you don't got it like I do, I definitely get it. Even if you have the Starfighter, definitely something out of Revenge of the Sith. I would definitely go for it. Um, also, I would like y'all to know, just let me know what y'all think about, you know, uh, me doing videos like this, because I would definitely do more. Um, I would just want to hear y'all feedback and your opinion, but let's get back to the video as far as the sets. So now I have the armored assault tank that you guys are looking at, the AAAT. It's going to be you 286 pieces, set number 75283. It's going to run you about $39.99 US dollars, Canadian $49.99, and UK is going to be $34.99. I'm very excited for this set. They're bringing back the battle droids, and I'm so excited. I'm not very sold on the AAAT, um, but I am very sold on the minifigures. I will literally just get it just for the minifigures, not going to lie. It got the Ahsoka Trooper right there in all his glory and his beautiful D uh, printing. Even the leg printing looks amazing. I'm just glad Lego was bringing back the regular blasters instead of the stupid stud blast uh, stud blasters that we have been trying to get rid of. Telling Lego to just get rid of it. Um, it also comes with the spring loaded uh, missile uh, missile launcher. I guess you can call it. Just correct me if I'm wrong. And Ahsoka in all her glory, definitely love the printing on her. Um, she comes with two lightsabers and the two blue blades i am very excited for her i definitely would just get it just for the minifigures as far as the set number it's out of 10 i would give that a 9.5 and now the knights of ren transport ship 595 pieces set number 75284 it's gonna run you about 69.99 um us dollars canadian is gonna be about 99.99 and uk is gonna be about 64.99 um I don't know why they call it the transport, you know, Knights of Ren transport ship. Night Buzzer would have been completely fine. It's going to bring you two Knights of Ren and Rey in all her glory and a spring-loaded uh, missile launcher. I'm very excited for the set. If you definitely want to get those uh, last Knights of Ren, I would recommend getting it. Out of 10, I'm going to give it about 7.5 just for now until I get it. But next set we got on the list, we have the General Grievous Starfighter, 487 pieces, 75286 is the set number, and the price, the price is the one thing that tends, has been on the talks about this set, it's going to run you about $79.99 US dollars, and Canadian is going to be $119.99, and UK is going to be $74.99. Yes, the price is overpriced. We know. I'm not happy about it. It's the exact same General Grievous and all his glory. He has nothing wrong with him. Um, uh, you got the spring-loaded uh, missile launcher, and you have a 212th Airborne uh, Trooper, and you have uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. So as far as the set number, sorry, 10 at, at 10, I would give it about 7.9. Now, as far as this set right here, the final dual Death Star. I'm not sold on this one. It gives you about 775 pieces. It's going to run you about $99.99 US dollars. Canadian is going to be $139.99. And UK is going to be $89.99. Set number 75291. The only thing I would get this set for, not even though the minifigures, Darth Vader and his 
all his glory and his arm printing that we are definitely dying for i would definitely get it out of 10 definitely give it about 7.5 but that's just that's just me that's just my opinion um now we have the resistance its transport 932 pieces set number 75293 it's gonna run you about 99.99 us dollars canadian is gonna be 139.99 and uk 89.99 this set is based on, because I know people are kind of confused, but this set is based on the Disney World and Disneyland Rise of the Resistance um, theme park over there. It's uh, just a transport ship. There's not much information on it. I can't really say it, but out of 10, I'm going to give it like a 8. Um, that's just my opinion. I'm not too big on the price, but what can you do? Now we have the advent calendar for this year, 311 pieces. US dollars gonna burn you about $39.99 and Canadian's gonna be $49.99. Set number 75279. I would literally, I'm literally getting this set just for the Darth Vader minifigure. I mean, just look at that. Look at that beauty. And his ugly Christmas sweater with the Death Star on it is amazing. His leg printing. Even though it's basic, it's really amazing. If you can't get the Darth Vader from the final duel on the Death Star, um, on that set, I would recommend getting it. I know it kind of dulls down for some people. It has a Christmas sweater, but I'm definitely sold on it. And also, we got the Poe Dameron Lego minifigure. I don't have him. I'm definitely going to try and get this set. Um, like I said, all these sets are supposed to drop on August 1st, but I'm definitely going to try and get them. Um, as best as I can um, with all these, you know, Christmas gifts. <laughs> um, I'm definitely going to try and be, do my best to get as many sets as I can so that way I can review them for y'all. Um, but I'm very excited for these sets. Um, you might not agree with my ratings, you know, out of 10. Um, the Jedi Interceptor and the Armored Assault and the Knights of Ren and General Grievous Starfighter and the Final Duel and the Death Star and the Resistance ITS. It's my first video on this. Um, just let me know what what y'all think let me know in the comments down below um but yeah for as far as this one out of 10 for just for the minifigures itself i'm gonna give it a nine because i'm very excited for this set now for the set that we've all been waiting for what we're all waiting for this summer wave the 501st legion clone troopers set number 75280 brings 285 pieces and it retails for 29.99 US dollars. I am so excited for this set and I know everyone is excited for this set cuz Lego has finally heard us. They finally 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 made one for us. It's not a battle pack, but it's definitely amazing. And on his glory, we get one 501st jetpack clone trooper and we get three normal uh 501st legion clone troopers. And we get two uh, battle droids. And we get an ATRT walker and a speeder bike. I am very excited for this set. And I know everyone has been excited ever since the Lego and photos have leaked. Um, everyone has been talking about this set. And I mean everyone. Every time I look on YouTube, everyone is talking about this set. Um, only thing that I have an issue with is that on the bottom of the ATRT, we got that little stud shooter. Um, it doesn't bother me too much. Something that's very easy, customizable. You know, you can fix that. But um, yeah, I'm glad we're getting the normal blasters back. That's one thing I'm very excited for. Um, it looks like it's very the walkers looks like it's very articulated to get some good positions if you're making some mocks. Um, but yeah, just let me know in the comments down below what y'all think. Um, What's your ratings as far as he said? What's something that you're looking forward to getting August 1st if it doesn't get pushed back? Um, but I'm definitely excited for the set. This has, this is like my top number one on my list. Um, it even tops the AAAT um, set. But between this one and the walk uh, assault tank, I'm definitely getting this one first. Um, but yeah, you know, just let me know your opinions down in below, you know. Hit that like button and subscribe if you like what you see on my channel. And I'm very appreciated for all the love that y'all guys have been showing me. And if y'all want future videos more like these, just let me know. And this is Sway, and I am logging out. See you on the next video.